Welcome back to Idealist. Now we all love speed. But sometimes car manufacturers don't. Burnout? So cool. Can we do it without the smoke? So if you want a ride that'll make you look like a speed racer, I've got you covered. Just don't be surprised when you get gapped by a minivan on the highway. And we've got links to all the cars on today's list via Auto Tempest down below. First up, we have the Toyobaru twins. The Subaru BRZ and Toyota 86 are twins that share the same amazing driving feel that cements them as some of the best sports cars of the last decade. But they're not exactly speed demons. In fact, with only 200 to 228 horsepower, they're straight up slow by today's standards, at least in their stock trim. And while they look like they're ready to take on a Porsche, if you line one up next to a Camry on the highway, you will get left in the dust. So while they're great for carving canyons, they won't be winning races anytime soon. But don't worry, with a huge aftermarket support, you can make the twins quick and fast if so desired. Sadly, our next pick does not have as much aftermarket support. Nissan 300ZX. The Nissan 300ZX is a true 90s legend that your mom would probably mistake for a Ferrari. But if you line one of these up next to a prancing horse, you'll be sorry. Because with only 222 ponies, the Nissan 300ZX's power is nowhere close to its looks. For comparison, a new Honda Odyssey makes 280 horsepower. Wait, is that true? The Honda Odyssey makes 280 horsepower? Damn, Honda! But you're probably not buying a 300ZX to race at stock. You're tuning the hell out of it and sending it sideways. But next up, we've got a car that doesn't really go sideways and doesn't really respond to tuning. Fisker Karma. You've heard it whispered about at car shows. You might have seen one on the road. And if you did see one, you probably confused it for an exotic supercar, since it looks like a mix between a BMW Z8 and an Aston Martin Vantage. Which makes sense because both of those cars were designed by Heinrich Fisker, founder of Fisker Automotive. But unlike the Beamer and Aston, the Fisker Karma doesn't have the performance numbers to match its James Bond looks. And while on paper, you'd think a 403 horsepower sports car would do pretty well, the Karma's hybrid powertrain adds up to less than the sum of its parts because the batteries, they just weigh too dang much. A Fisker Karma weighs in at a hefty 5,300 pounds. So even with 400 ponies, it takes the Karma 6.3 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour. It weighs more and goes slower than a Honda Pilot. Wait, a Honda Pilot's a six second 60 car? Damn, Honda! Okay, but what about Porsche? They're all fast, right? Well, not the 924. Porsche 924. The Porsche 924 is a classic example of a car that looks fast, but it's actually super slow. A Toyota Prius can do zero to 60 in 7.1 seconds, whereas the Porsche 924 takes 8.2 seconds to reach zero to 60. The Prius could run laps around this Porsche, but hey, at least it looks fast, right? And let's face it, most people who buy a classic Porsche aren't doing it for the speed, they're doing it for the, look at me, I've got a classic Porsche factor. And the owners of our next car probably hope everybody's thinking they're driving a classic Ferrari. Pontiac Fiero. Oh boy, the Pontiac Fiero. The perfect base for almost any kid car. And don't even get me started about the dealership option Ferrari treatment. It's like mistaking Taco Bell for a Michelin star restaurant. Well, it looks sporty with its mid-engine design, Whether you've got the Iron Duke or even the V6 GT version, don't really expect any fireworks when you slam down on the skinny pedal. Ugh, I'm sorry, that was a poor choice of words. Next up, Hyundai Tiburon. Tiburon is Spanish for shark, and with a name like that, you'd expect this sporty little Hyundai to be aggressive, nimble, even maybe a little dangerous, but even if you picked up the V6 GT option, it crawls from zero to 60 in almost eight seconds. Which is unfortunate because it's a pretty good looking car, especially if you're into bootleg Integras. So if you're looking for a car that looks fast, but is actually slower than a snail crawling up a hill covered in honey, the Tiburon might be for you. But hey, if you wanna throw some more reliability into the mix, look at a Toyota Celica. Toyota Celica. Surprisingly, the Toyota Celica has a lot in common with the Tiburon. They're both front wheel drive and they both look way faster than they actually are. Now, 
don't get me wrong, the Celica is a good looking car, it's sleek, sporty, and there's a certain amount of coolness about it. Heck, it was even a rally champion. But when it comes to performance, it leaves a lot to be desired. Unless you find yourself a GTS or GT4 turbocharged variant, in vanilla trim, this thing barely cracks 140 ponies. And while it's pretty slow, a base Mitsubishi Lancer might be even slower. Mitsubishi Lancer. Hey, hey, put your pitchforks down, okay? I'm not talking about the Evo. Okay. Rather, a plain old Lancer in base trim, it's only got a two liter engine with less than 150 horsepower. This thing has just enough power to get you up hills and that's about it. Power aside, the Lancer actually looks really darn good, especially since everybody's gonna think you've got an Evo. But get used to letting people down because they're gonna be that much more disappointed when they find out you just got the plain old Lancer base. So if you want the attention and the speed, you'll need to shell out a few extra bucks for a proper Lancer evolution. G-Money, come here a sec. Yeah, what's up, Jeff? Aren't you forgetting something? What? Garrett. Oh, come on, don't make me do it! Garrett! I don't want to! Dude, we have to- The ND Miata RF is sleek, sporty, and it looks ready to set the new record at your local track. But stomp on the gas pedal and you might be a little disappointed. The Miata RF packs 181 ponies, and while its 0 to 60 time of 5.7 seconds isn't slow, its looks would lead you to believe you had a bona fide track weapon on your hands. And let's not forget previous gen Miatas. Sure, they're fun to whip around the twisties, chase times at autocross, and they even make a fun track toy. But just be prepared to get passed by everyone and their mother on the straights. As much as I love my 1999 and B Miata, it only does zero to 60. Oh, sorry, th that's it. it. It does zero to 60, most days. Next up, the DeLorean. This iconic ride with its gullwing doors and stainless steel body is known for its futuristic look and time traveling capabilities. But let's face it, when it comes to land speed, the DeLorean is kind of a total dud. Well, yes, design-wise, the DeLorean was groundbreaking, but when it comes to performance, the DeLorean's 130 horsepower V6 is about as exciting as Brad's hairdresser on low heat. But hey, maybe one day we'll figure out how to make it go 88 miles an hour without the aid of a flux capacitor. You guys want to know a secret? I've never actually seen Back to the Future. Please don't kill me. <laughs> so. Is the DeLorean your favorite slow car that looks fast, or is it something else? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're here, why not check out some of our other videos? Anyways, I'm Garrett, this is Ideal, and whatever slow car you're driving fast, keep on living that ideal lifestyle. <laughs>